All right, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I wanted to do some kind of content, content when, where I explain the geometry in chess. Uh, there are many patterns, uh, diagonals, lines, squares, but uh, I want to show you something that Hikaru, for instance, um, refers back to many times, and I will show you why. First, let's start with why geometry matters. So, Master in Chess Geometry allows players to spot hidden threats and opportunities, navigate the board more effectively, and control critical areas and create weaknesses in their opponent's position. This is also a great way to um, increase your tactical awareness. So, okay, now just to finish the intro, give me a second here. Uh, what is the next? Uh, how can I move it? Okay, so we're going to spot for these patterns, the right triangles. And it is, it's going to help you with uh, visualizing and patterns. You have control and influence over the board. And you might be also to spot defensive and offensive structure with these triangular formations, particularly with pawns and minor pieces. And positional play. So in the concept of triangles, can help you understand the balance of control and the structure of a position. And tactics and coordination. So today we're going to see examples where there, there is this, you see this pattern, maybe this way, maybe the other way, but you always see a right triangle. So let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at some examples without further ado. And Okay, let's go here. And um, this is mating tree. Now, I want you to spot that pattern, that right triangle. Do you see it? Uh, you can pause the video now. Okay, I'm gonna help you. You always should look for checks, captures, or, or threats. So maybe you you have a uh, you have a check here, but you are losing your queen. So the check here is this and i'm gonna give it here give the check and now how do you complete with this puzzle you can just go here right so I i'm gonna do it again so you can see the pattern of the right triangle where okay i'm attacking the king here mm, and once he moves I am also repeating the right triangle. See how it repeats. And then I, again, that, that was kind of the, this is the only defensive move. And yeah, I just take here. And there is like, um, okay, this is mating three. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do more like this. So you can see this in different examples. I want you to look for that pattern in all the puzzles we're gonna do today. So, okay, try to imagine the right triangle in this position, which was very similar uh, to the to the previous one. And you should see it like this. If you don't see it, then you can pause the video, but I will solve, uh, I will solve it now. So here you have a right triangle, the coordination of this Bishop, the king, and this, uh, and then back again. So this is the. It's not exactly a right triangle because a right triangle will have a ninety degree angle, but you still have a some kind of triangle, right? So oh, I can, cannot solve it uh, here. And then now you just have to complete the back rank mate, and this is a back rank mate. Okay. Now you have the right triangle in this example as well. Uh, okay, so this is why to move. And I want you to look for that right triangle. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to draw lines, but if you, I want you to see it on the board before uh, making it, even the move. So here, the, here is the right triangle where my queen is supported by the rook. I'm gonna stop using the right triangle, but it's it's a triangle, right? So I I wanna coordinate the rook and the queen, and now just to complete the mate, uh, I give up the queen. B 
because the game doesn't have any escape squares. Um, okay, so I will do a little more. Let's let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one seems a bit more tricky. But there is um, a very neat solution. First, you look for checks, right? The first thing I see this check, which is going to force the king away. So I'm gonna go there, and okay, let's let's do it. Oh, I have to press here. So let's go here. Oh, okay, now my queen is hanging. Like I cannot. What do I, What do you do? So yeah, it's a whole board vision. You take the the knight, and that's it. So just to draw the this the triangle here, you have a triangle right here and another triangle here, right? So it's just to look at the board in a way where you are drawing the lines. And not only, oh, this is these are my bishops, I'm gonna draw the line. No, but you are looking at the triangles here. Here the triangle is is this one where you are coordinating your queen and the knight. Okay, that's very good. Uh, let's do let's do more. Okay, this is why to move. Uh, I'm gonna click here first. This is why to move, and this is a common pattern in chess, a common mate, where this bishop doesn't really matter if he's here or here. Well, maybe it matters in this position because he can be taken by the knight. But in relatively, you want to keep your bishop on this diagonal. That is the importance of the bishops. But yeah, it doesn't really matter if he's if he's here or any other square on this diagonal. Maybe not here, but yeah, it can also be here, for example, on the h file. Now, um, yeah, I think it's it's about coordinating this this bishop, and now this is the right. This is the triangle you want to look for. You give up this rook. Now you give a check with the other rook. You take, and this square is covered. This square is covered as well. So, yeah, this this can be the triangle here, or it can be a triangle as long as as this, or it can also be as short as, uh, maybe a bit shorter, like something like this. But you still look for this pattern on the board. Uh, okay. Yeah, I found also a good pattern here. Which is not really, it's, it's a triangle, it's, it's a bit of a triangle, but and I will show you this another pattern to look for, and I think I, sh I will show you, I can show you more examples if this video gets enough views. So here, maybe you can give a check with the bishop, right? But um, the problem is the king escapes, and now you don't, you don't really have any continuation. So what you want to do is give a check here with the rook first, and now, it, yeah, it's 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 all like about that calculation, three or four moves ahead in the future. Uh, now that you have this pattern, now you give a check with the bishop, right? Now, uh, this is the best move for white. If white would have gone here, you you also save a move, but. Then you give a check with the rook, another one, and then here you capture the rook. So I'm, I'm gonna draw the line of the geometry of this puzzle because to me it's beautiful. First, you give a check here, the king goes over, and then you are given a check again here. Then on h2, you capture this rook, and now you are aiming to for this one so you don't really have to worry about this pawn promoting because you are already on time on the other side of the board so yeah just just to repeat it uh, i'm gonna go here oh, okay uh here okay, so here it's not moving okay here and then uh yeah again here so it was full, it's not a circle, but it was full, uh, a rectangle. 
right? So yeah, this is this is why chess is also beautiful. And I have another example which I found earlier. Okay, so he, you it doesn't have you don't have to use the bishops. Bishops are really common, but there is another example here with the rook and the queen, and you have equal material, but it's completely winning for black. And uh, yeah, can you find the right triangle? Here there is something about this this coordination, but so I will show you now. You give a check here with the rook. Now, how do you continue? Mm -hmm. I hope you found it. So you give a, a check here with the queen. You don't take the queen immediately. You can actually give a check here with the rook and then you capture the queen, right? So this is, uh, this is the geometry of, of this puzzle. Where you give a check here with a rook, and then uh, white is forced, yeah, white skin is forced to go here, to go here, and uh, you give a check. So, yeah, this is uh, this is the the power of the geometry on chess. And now, if you see, this, there is also another triangle here. There is triangles everywhere. You give a check. And now he's forced to take the rook. And now, yeah, you take this queen. And it's a winning position for black. Okay. I hope that I, you liked this video. It was short. Uh, but if you enjoy this video, I, I can make more content uh, showing the geometry in chess. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.